My name is Gene Kies. I'm 75 years old. I'm retired to a mobile home park here in Nova Scotia, and I'm going to review an a 16-inch folding electric bike, which is renamed the E-Bike BC. It's made in China under a different name called New Easy, which I'll mention later. And the marvelous thing about this bike is it's called an ultralight. It's the lightest electric bike on the market that I've been able to find. 24 pounds, would you believe? 11 kilos. I've bicycled all my life. I've never owned a car. My The bike I used up until now for the past 11 years is a Ma a non-electric folding six-inch bike, about as generic as you can get. It was a Nahani Vincenti, made in Vietnam. And I've carried many heavy loads in it with these folding bike baskets. I'm going to install similar baskets uh, on this one, but they haven't arrived in the mail yet from Amazon. Now the way this bike folds uh, is like that and it it even balances itself. Um, my old bike, it would just fold in half and be a sort of an ungainly lump um, and uh, wouldn't, wouldn't balance itself. This bike I've only had for about a week, so I've been giving it sea trials, see how it works. Um, it has a front hub motor, which is 250 watts. Uh, the it's manu This bike is manufactured in China uh, by Suzhou um, Electric, or, um, and it goes by the name of New Easy. Now, a shop in British Columbia uh, ordered a number of them and ordered some upgrade specs. It's called. Uh, their website and their name is eBike BC, and they wanted uh, some improvements such as a 250 watt motor instead of 180 watts as in the original. Uh, the one of the things I don't like about the bike is that the battery is embedded in this uh, front tube, and it, it doesn't. You don't just put in a new battery. You have to uh, get cells and rewire the cells and somehow access them through the uh, front headlight here. So that was almost a deal breaker for me, but I decided uh, the battery won't need to be replaced for five years and I uh, thought I'd um, have a go at it and uh, cross that bridge when I get to it. Uh, the pedals fold very nicely, unlike my other uh, um, folding bike. The, uh, the controller, there's a twist strip here. One of the things I didn't like about the bike was that this very rough surface, ridges and grooves and uncomfortable on the hands. So I simply put on an old uh, uh, foam pad for the twist strip. The, the only readout on this bike, if I turn on... The light is not Yeah, okay. How's that? The only readout is uh, there, there's three uh, lights showing the um, fullness of the battery. I've recharged it once since I've gotten it. Um, the what I like about this bike is this very sleek design. I looked all over the web at many different electric bikes and. Uh, uh, looked at video reviews by Court Rye on electric bike reviews. 
Uh, and many electric bikes are, uh, they, they just seem very clumsily designed to me. Many of them don't have luggage racks. That's especially important to me because I use this to get groceries and stuff. pedal folds as well, unlike my uh, other um, folding bike. Now, the main uh, distinction, advantage uh, of this bike is, is how light it is. This is, uh, 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 it's 24 pounds, 11 kilos. That bike with the baskets is already 35 pounds, no battery, no motor. So this is 24 pounds with the battery, with the motor, except that I've already put this cable lock on it. That adds another pound, so technically we're 25 pounds. And I've also wrapped around some uh, tie-downs here. This particular light didn't come with it. Uh, it's a um, flashing red light. They did send a reflector, um, but um, I'm not using that particular reflector. They also sent a bell, which I haven't put on yet. And they were supposed to send a front um, shopping desk, front handle shopping basket. That hasn't uh, arrived yet. Uh, I like these brakes that they're called. They're called V brakes. I uh, looks like a cross between, um, say, an old center pole and, um, uh, and show again. Clamp. So the brakes down there. What, which this. Uh, They, they stop it very well. Uh, the here's the I'm not I don't have the recharger with me, but uh, there's the recharging port. I uh, recharge it for about three to five hours. Um, it uh, the light on the recharger turns green uh, green when it's finished. Um, and you're not supposed to overcharge. This, of course, is a lithium-ion battery, so we better be careful. Uh, this bike a quick ride to show how it goes. Um, one thing... Uh, one thing I don't like, if you start to pedal the bike uh, with, the, with the button pushed, uh, that, then the motor kicks in rather too fast. So what I would, so what I choose to do is uh, just use the twist grip and then pedal as as needed if you're going up a hill or whatever. So now I'm going to push the red button um, and uh, just take a quick slow ride here.